Hello, so Scarlet Spear has just dropped and I thought I'd make a little video on how to AFK the ground assault. Um, I haven't done any of the, the space one yet, but I, I'm sure I'll get onto that once I've built my railjack. I haven't really played much Warframe in a, in a long time. But um, yeah, the, 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 the ground assault, this is a super AFK time and it's so glorious because of the arcanes. I mean, just being able to get arcanes without killing Eidolons is not my favorite thing to do. I think it's quite a long process and you know it's quite random this this way you can earn earn some stuff you have a whole month to do it and you can you can bag yourself some decent arcanes that you could you've been probably been working towards for a long time arcanes are pretty big i don't have that many in fact i have one to level three i think that's 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 as, that's as far as i got because i really don't like doing the eidolons it's a lot of effort it is fun sometimes when i'm in the mood but uh it's, it's not always the best so this build so i'll start with my my weapons your fighting sentience as well as Grenier. So bringing a wave clear weapon, anything like the Amprex. Um, I'm using the Exultra with a corrosive on it. Um, this is quite quite a standard build as they usually are these days. Um, bit of corrosive and it's just decent wave clear. It, it annihilates, I love this weapon, it's one of my favorites. But if you didn't have it, an Amprex would do, you know, anything to do with corrosive or, or anything like that. Um, for killing the conduits, the the orb when it when it show when it shows its chest, uh, I'm using my uh, Fortuna weapon, whatever it's called. Um, this annihilates um, because I have a ribbon on it, and yeah, it's pretty strong. It's another standard build. Again, if you, I mean, if you have something similar if, without the ribbon, you could just take hydraulic crosshairs, and it's you know the standard you know hornet barrel um, and an element of some some description. It's quite good. Um, if you didn't have that, I would recommend something like the Axe Stilettos. Um, they've been kicking around for a long time now. Some people have these. Um, they're quite good. Uh, the Atmos is also quite good for clearing out uh, Grenier. Um, it, like, it's like the Amprex in, in a secondary format. It's actually really, really good. But uh, I'm using my Fortuna weapon to kill the, the orb. And also it annihilates most of the sentience at low level. Um, you can use pretty much any any melee weapon. Um, this is just for the sentience, really. So I would actually recommend putting um, some different elements like magnetic or gas or something stupid. Um, if you had the paracesis, um, obviously the bonus damage to sentience is quite good. Um, but any any melee weapon with um, some different elements, you know, you can cut through those sentience quite quite quickly. They're not really an issue, um, just simply because Limbo. Uh, so Limbo, he's why he's so good at this. With my build, which I'll show you in a second, basically what you'll be doing is you're going to be minimizing range um, and you're going to be maximizing out duration. Um, efficiency is okay to have and strength is okay. Um, normal continuity would work. Um, normal flow would work. If you didn't have narrow-minded, I guess, constitution or something similar for knockdown against the bombards. Stretch is quite easy to get. Streamline is quite easy to get. Intensify is quite easy to get. Adaptation I just take because it's a favorite of mine. Also with vitality for some survivability and corrosive projection. I have arcane consequence um, as my level three um, arcane. That's all I've got. And arcane guardian, which I picked up from doing the Scarlet Spear with this build which is it's super easy to do you really don't have to pay attention it, it is glorious um so yeah i will get on to what you have to do for the ground assault and i will show you how it all works so ground assault starting off you pick up a op op link not up link um for 1000 credits from little duck and you put this in your gear slot so it's one of your gears, so when you go in there, you can deploy it, and that's how you're going to be taking the kill codes from the ground assault. So I will jump in there now and explain how this works. Okay, so most of the time, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be casting your ultimate cataclysm, and you're going to be casting stasis. Now, when your cataclysm is up with this build, you're going to have a small area that's going to last about 60 seconds, and then you're going to cast stasis, which freezes everything inside there. It also freezes the sentience and a lot of them attack you in close range and they will just get caught like a fly in a trap. It is glorious. You can shoot them. They're not going to attack you. It's decent CC. It keeps you alive and you don't have to worry about a single thing. And once the op link is up up and running, you, you should have, if you have my build exactly, you have enough time to cast this once and this twice and that's it. You don't even have to shoot any Grenier. There's no limit for you you can just sort of afk whilst the uplink does its thing nothing can touch it it's glorious um 
and that's basically what you're going to be doing. So what you do is you go and find the Chondrix. It spawns any any location like a uh, excavation mission. And I'll quickly go over there now. All right, so the Chondrix is here. So what you do is you cast your four and you cast your two. Well, mine's, mine's a different button. And basically you sit inside this and you kill the sentience and they get caught in your area like that one. It's not caught though. It's fine. You just step outside, shoot them. And then the chest opens up. You go out and you finish it. You shoot that down and it's done. Then you go back inside your orb. You shoot the sentience again. There's another wave. There'll be once you uh, defeat every phase, there'll be more sentience coming, and they just get caught and it's glorious. You recast your stasis and they just get CC. They're all dead. And then what you do is you go to your gear. You put the uplink up, and then you recast your ultimate, and then you recast stasis. And that's that. You don't even have to touch anything now. Nothing can touch these uplinks because you are completely CCing anything that comes close. It's glorious. Um, and that's pretty much it. You rinse and repeat. So the Contrix will go to a new location. It will open its chest. You have to fight a wave of sentience, destroy the orb. But you can use your your um, your passive on Limbo to shift in and out of um, Limbo. You can't even die whilst you're traveling. And then you can just recast your W. Um, a good a good uh, little addition to this would be having energy, um, squad energy restores if you have those. Um, they're quite quite decent. If not, you can use your Xeneric and uh, gain some energy that way. And that's pretty much it. So you jump into shift form, go to the next one, rinse and repeat. And that's pretty much it. Just a little ground assault uh, build if you're looking for one or you need one. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's been a while, but... Uh, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.